All right, all right, all right. Hey, we lit, we live, we out here. Hey, um, today on this show, we're gonna talk about is Desmond Ritter the worst QB in the NFL? And is CJ Stroud? Hmm. Is CJ Stroud him? That's what everybody want to talk about. They want to talk about if CJ Stroud, that guy. So, we're going to go ahead and um, introduce everybody on the panel. But before we do that, let's go ahead and give a shout out to the people that's in the chat. All right, all right, all right. We got Bubba Gump. What's going on, Bubba? We got Lee85. Hello to you all. What's up, man? What it do, Eric, Matt? What it do, fam? Nick Beam, ATL family. We got somebody already on it. Ritter is trash. What's up, Mia Clark? Jay Diaz, what's up? How you doing? Red and black. ATL Leo, I see you. What's up, AF fan? Wonder Woman, hey, what's up, lady? Ryan Peoples, we got YMO, F Jamal 05, y'all in these names. <laughs> got Jamie <laughs> Terry, Red Swarm, D Coleman, and Vincent Moore. What's up, y'all? Y'all share this content out. Make sure you go on Thank over and subscribe to this channel. When you come in the building, I want everybody to come on in and share this out. What's up, Pam? <laughs> what's happening? What's happening, everybody? What's happening? So Let's yeah, get yeah. It. hey man, appreciate everybody for showing up, man. All my day ones. Like I said, we're gonna start it with the weekly wrap up, man. The departure from London, man. I want to know what y'all feel like. How do y'all feel like <laughs> that plane trip was departing from London, coming out, <laughs> coming from the the stench of that play we had against right. the Jaguars? I'm gonna let the lady go first. Go ahead, ma'am. And it's funny how it's departure from London because if if the indicator of if how Drake London on the <laughs> sideline was looking, if that went on down to the team, I think that yeah, that plane ride was very quiet. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Nobody. Well, they had a couple of interviews, very but <laughs> it, it, it was a long, 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 long upsetting flight. I can tell you that. Cause it's like it's a lot of these players that ain't went there or you know been in London before to play. You know, it was an exciting game. And you know, the Falcons fans, shout out to y'all. Y'all showed out. Y'all was Man, deep out there. Were deep mm -hmm. on the streets. Did you it see the over the streets? It was a lot of people I knew that went down there too. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. man. That's so yeah, that departure was woo, that was a lot. <laughs> Go ahead, um Reaper. Well, yeah, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, that's why we really can't have no disappointing season. We ain't have fan going out there like that. Like they deep out there, man. But like that that flight, that flight home, man, that was a long flight home, bro. There was a lot of coming to Jesus moments in that plane talk. <laughs> I guarantee they were talking. Under Smith probably had a couple of them in the circle, like, bro, we got to fix it right now. And it started, it started with my boy Arthur Smith, man. You got to get back to what you do. You got to get back to what got you to be a head coach. You got to get back to these tendencies that, that you drawed up, you know what I'm saying, to have Matt Ryan almost throw for 4,000 yards with no wide receivers, no run game. You got to get back to that, bro. You got to get back to building these plays up getting the ball no. to you you know what i'm saying he made he made the kids look like something he got the kids paid so you know what i'm saying like come on you got to get you got to get back to this bro like stop listening to this outside you know stop listening to us fans stop mm -hmm. listening to the media bro stop mm -hmm. listening to the media do get back to you you know what i mean just get back to what you do take okay. some of that Take some of that power from um Ragon. Let him know he probably on his last leg. Let him know he he don't take the trash out tomorrow. He fired. You got to get him out there. You got to get him out of that road, bro. Cause he ain't doing nothing, bro. The same old, same old, man. He ain't doing nothing, bro. 
Look, so what you think about that uh lock, you know, the departure? Um, first before I even go, I'm gonna let my boy Big Ant just step in. How's it going, Big Ant? Step in the back door like Jody, boy. Mm-hmm. God, no, boy. No, no. Hide your lady. Hide your lady. Hide your old lady right now. So what we're talking about? We, what we're talking about is uh the departure from London. How you feel after that loss? The disgraceful loss. How you felt like that departure from London was like? How you feel like they was like on the plane or what? What you think they did? I mean, we need a team. You no, know, that's that's when the team leaders uh, got to step up. You know, like getting that ass. Mm-hmm. Like one of them captains. Mm-hmm. Hey, one of them captains. He was Y'all getting on the ass on the plane. Oh, saying, hey, before we get before we get on the plane in the locker room, when we get on the plane, when we land, all week. <laughs> hey, to speak on that bit, you did you see the mic up with uh your boy Jesse Bates? Oh, I seen it. He was in their ass all game, bro. He was letting them get down. Oh. I like that, but I'm, go ahead, go ahead, finish what you were saying. I just had to make that up. Mm-hmm. Oh make yeah, yeah. Uh, all game, but see, we need something like that on offense. Mm. Like I don't see nobody like that on offense. Mm. Like we don't. I mean, of course we got a leader, but we don't have a leader that's gonna get in that ass on offense. You know, one more, you one more thing. You think that's why they brought old boy back? Well, I, the class we, gonna, we gonna get to that. Oh, 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 we gonna oh, get to that. Hey, hey, we gonna get to that. He got it. He got it. He got it. That's why I didn't say nothing. We just getting excited. We just getting excited. <laughs> we gonna get the word about the departure. We wanna know how they, how they... <laughs> Well, I'm gonna go ahead and address it, man. I feel like honestly, um, Matt Hollis set the tone, bro. On the sideline when Ritter came up on him and like, hey man, he was like he jumped the lane. Nah, bro, bro. I ain't trying to hear nothing. He was trying to he was trying to play it off and say, nah, that wasn't about Ritter, but nah, nah, bro. You, his yeah, whole he, 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 he didn't think the camera called him at that time, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad yeah. From him now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you got the whole world up in the uproar right now about it, so but like, hey, it's it's what's needed, man. I mean, hopefully, it's it's that um, constructive criticism that make them want to galvanize and not go the opposite direction and where they feel like like everybody think we're doing. So I'm gonna put a picture up here that I think is fair to put up here. That's my guy saying, you know, blame him. <laughs> it's on him. It's on him. I'm gonna put it up there again. Just like, he said it's on him, man. Hey, that's his favorite him. move right now. We talking yeah, about like, you know, he 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 tight, you know what I'm saying? He said blame him, man. So we're gonna move on down. Arthur Smell, blame Arthur Smell. Arthur Smell said, <clears throat> and with him being somebody that's going ahead and showing accountability, mm. accountability, mm. can that mm. coach accountability equal results with the players? Are they gonna finally be like, okay, he's finally on? Because the few, the few wow. uh, press conferences, he was like, hey man, he didn't put it on him. So this is one of the times that he actually put it on his shoulders. What y'all think about that? Well, I'm going to say this. I mean, I, I yeah, I've been wanting to get in on this topic just a little bit because of rum. Um, it's going um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, to get real. <laughs> we used to you know when black people blend them words together to make one word. You know, you know she started, yeah, started <laughs> stroking that chin. <laughs> yeah, you know, because it's like... Um, Oh, you're taking accountability now because we was just on the grand stage. Mm. Everybody was watching the NFL Ugh. worldwide. Ugh. <laughs> so, mm. to me, I feel like Arthur Smith is stubborn. Mm. And the way that everybody displayed and their dissatisfaction and everything and all these players, you saw it, man. I said it. I was a little... I wasn't, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. I was intoxicated the other uh, post game. I apologize yeah. for all that. But it, what I was trying bit. to say <laughs> was <laughs> these guys were defeated. Um, And I feel like when 
of course, he's taking ownership now, and I hope he continues to take ownership and make some decisions in his play calling at this point. Mm -hmm. But because what you don't want to happen is the players to lose. Uh, he lose the um, locker room. It's like I'm starting to because it's like, of course, now all of a sudden he's trying to throw these little smoke signals because now all of a sudden he don't throw out there that, oh, Kyle Pitts is actually hurt still. You know, so yeah. it's just very little small things or are we bringing in people that's coming back and everything else. It's like, I don't know what you selling is what you really bringing at this point. Now, of course, it's only just what game four at this, you know, so it's going to take what's going to happen home because, of course, we, we went on, you know, at home and everything else. So we got to see what these next two games going to be as far as his play calling who's making decisions on the offensive calling because I'm almost to the point it's like, nah, give it to somebody else at this point because, but that's just me. That's just be being passionate. So I just got to see what the adjustment is going to be after this London game. That's why I'm going to go with it. Reefa, what's your thoughts? Is? What's your thoughts about him on it? On and up. Well, yeah, pretty much. OG. The add on what she was saying, you know what I mean? Uh, he got to gain that trust back for me until he makes some some changes. Like, you got to get rid of – take Ragon out of some of that game plan and then you get back to it or whatever. That's how I feel about it anyway. That's the only way. If he don't do this, he's going to lose that locker room because you got a lot of players that look and got a little look on their face that I'm not liking. And that's mm. how it all start, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. That's how it all start. And, mm -hmm. and when you got a defense playing this good, bro, right? this good. We ain't had a defense mm -hmm. here in a minute, bro. Mm -hmm. We got defense right. playing this good, and you're wasting their energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Money is money, but sometimes emotions rise over all that shit. These mm -hmm. niggas feeling this. They feeling that emotion. Man, we out here got them balling, and these niggas can't get a fur down or something. They, they thinking that. You know what I'm saying? They they, 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 they they talking about this on the defense side. Right. It's, th it's third you know and one. <laughs> Come on, bro. One. Third and one, and you it's a it's shotgun. It's Come back. on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hey man, y'all, y'all, hey, look here, man. Y'all got to stop cutting fucks off and start letting folks talk. Yeah, uh, don't you start? Don't you start? Don't shit, OG. Uh, did you just interrupt? Did you just he interrupt? Just, he just straight cut me off. Then. So how are you? How are you gonna cut somebody else off? Talking about cutting people off. That's we ain't gonna do that, OG. Not talking. Hey, buddy. Hey, you, you don't skip out on my date, honey. So I, I just don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Hey, do like that. Come on, I had skip. to bring a lady hey, with me. Hey, I'm hey. done. I'm done. OG, step in here. What you got to say, man? Hurry up. Go ahead. Go ahead, OG. OG, true. Uh, I agree with what Will just said, man. I re agree with the, what, what, what the Reaper just said. Look, bro, we can't waste good defensive effort, man. I get it. The, the offense is a little bit behind, and the offense got to play a little catch up. But we gonna have to show what we appreciate this defense a little bit more than need to start this Sunday. Um, we gotta we uh, uh we gotta flush what done happened the last two weeks. Hey, hey, get P hey, get rid of the PTSD. Get hey. Hey, how about how about get a little amnesia and go out there and execute the game plan? Uh, I'm really gonna be taking a long look at Arthur Smith because at the end of the day, it's on his watch. Um, and he, the first adjustment needs to start with with him. I'm gonna tell you something as a coach. What I always do when my team is reeling, whether I'm doing travel baseball, football, or whatever the case, I always check myself first. I go look in the mirror. And I go see, I go see what I ask myself, what in the hell are you doing wrong? Then what I do is I swallow my pride and I go talk to my coaches. I even go talk to my players. I'll pull my players in and say, what am I doing wrong? I'm going to do whatever it takes to win. Arthur Smith needs to do that. He needs to check his ego at the door. It's, a, it's abundantly clear that he's one of these new school, hot shot coordinators, stubborn bull headed. I'm going to do it my way. Tight MFs. Well, if you're gonna do it your way, I need a playoff run this year. If not, I'm gonna give his ass the business. Can That's I interrupt it real quick? Since you mm -hmm. said ego, I felt like 
the Eagles started in the off season when they wanted to go ahead and keep these beards on and you got everybody else want to wear a beard. So it's all, you know, um, cockiness and, Oh, I think we got a defense now. We ready. We good. So I feel like all of that started happening in the off season, but it just I'm a transfer to the field. Long to transfer to the field. I don't care. Right. I don't care if you come out there looking like Grizzly fucking Adams. Hey. Like, as long as it transferred to the field. That's cool. You can be however you, you can be whoever you want to be. As long as it transferred to the field. If it don't transfer to the field, then everybody's going to harp on why you got that thick-ass mustache looking like hey, uh, 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 looking like a oh. porn star. OG, OG, I blame Spencer Strider for that shit. Oh, God. <laughs> now, see, I ain't going to cuss Cause Maggie on here. Why he, he did. He did start that mustache, though, but that Spencer Strider got that. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> it, it Blackberry on here. Yes, sir. Go oh, ahead, Blackberry. Blackberry man, man, the man called you out early, Blackberry. But we'll talk about it, though. We are gonna talk about man. I called you out, Blackberry. <laughs> uh oh, I don't miss everything. Somebody oh, don't yeah, got you called out. Yeah. Hold on, you don't miss you all of you. You, you, you <laughs> miss it, but now we miss it. Listen, we'll talk about it after we get off here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, yeah. Man, what you got to say about Arthur Smith going ahead and taking accountability for himself? And do you feel like that's going to translate to the players and get results? Well, it depends. It depends on accountability, but are you making changes? You can take accountability all day. I can sit here and say, yeah, you know what? It's my fault that I didn't drive 10 hours yesterday and, and, and mm-hmm. I could have I been – I could have went and picked up my next load, but then I turn around at night, go sleep, wake up, don't drive another, but another four, five hours the next day and be saying the same shit the damn next, the next damn day. So I, I can agree. take accountability. He can take accountability all day, but mm-hmm. is he going to make the changes? That's the only way we going to see the, the, the players uh, equal play on the field. If that's, if, if that's what the question is asking. So hey, he made I, he I, made one change today, Blackberry, but we're gonna talk about that later. Yeah, we don't. We, we don't I, I, I ain't, ain't talking about. It. I just listen. got into. It. Uh, don't say it. Don't say it, Blackberry. Don't say it. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it, but I ain't, I ain't talking about them kind of changes, bro. I'm talking about the changes you need to make as a coach during as the coach. game. Yeah. Oh, see, so I'm not. Yeah. I, sure. I'm not fool. Okay. Yeah. I see through bullshit. I see <laughs> straight through bullshit. So that that's how I knew Arthur was a bullshit artist when he first got here. But I didn't mind it because the best businessmen are bullshit artists. The best of them. So I don't mind him being a bullshit artist. I don't mind being lied to. I don't mind it. Just if you gonna take accountability for when your bullshit stinks, that's, that's make sure you doing something to 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 suck that shit up the next game so we ain't got to smell that bullshit. Make sure you use it for breathing it. <laughs> for breathing yeah. hey, it, 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 at least <laughs> got them sprinkle some sugar <laughs> on that <laughs> shit or something. That, that, that's what I had said man. when I was saying it, bro. When I had <laughs> did my thing, you know, what I think you need to do. That's what I was saying, though, bro. He got to change with himself. Yeah. He got to, bro. He got to go back to what he was when he first got here. When he yeah. knew he didn't have no money behind him. When he mm. knew he didn't have no offensive line, mm. when he knew he didn't have no running game, all he had was a veteran quarterback. And he made that veteran quarterback make everybody else look good. Mm. Come on, get back to them play calls you were doing right there. The designs you was making. You were making average motherfuckers get open in your play, in your playbook, bro. You had average folk. You got the kids paid, like I said. You got the kids paid. You got gays paid. Come on, mm. bro. Go yeah, back into us. what you go back into your bag. Fuck everybody else. Stop listening to everybody else. Well, see, go we back into some, your bag. Some fans are saying that maybe he was trying to see what else he got in Desmond Riddle. I and, think that's and, what he and, was. And the rest too. of the offense. That. But but check this out. You don't do that at this level. That experiment shit. See, I I know some people they cool with it. I ain't never been cool with that shit on a professional level. I'm all for it in, in college football. I'm all for it in high school football, part ball. I'm all for that experiment shit in. But the, in the NFL, the whole purpose of you being there is because you bringing something to the table already that a owner feels like can work. So hey, you need there. to do what the fuck work and not you the experiment You know what you can experiment shit. at, though? 
preseason. What you didn't have your boy play in. Yep. Preseason. That's right. I think you I had a question like that. Somebody had a question drive. like that about uh, should have uh, should they been playing in all preseason games? The, the it made a difference. Violence, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm saying like I, I already been saying plenty of time. I'm one of the guys that believe they need to play in the preseason. You don't got yeah. to play forever. You ain't got to play a long time. Get out there and get your feet wet. It's some about feeling that first hit that gets you no a bus football season. It's right. time. It's Look at the Steelers there clapping them pads, bro. Look at the just, Steelers coach. He played everybody. everybody. They've they been they've been looking kind of crappy a couple of years. Yeah, but know. it's 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 just still <laughs> should be the same mentality because we don't know what we're working with right. with these, you know. So it's like we can't treat it as if we got the same team as of last season. Right. It's a whole I, different team. Like, hey, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree. Oh I don't God. agree with that though, Megan. I think we do know what we're working with. And that's the problem. To an extent. Arthur know what he working with. He know what he got. Mm -hmm. He know what he got out of Desmond Real. He know what he got out of Drake London and Kyle Pitts Mm -hmm. and Joe New Smith and Mac Holland. He know what he got out that backfield. He know what he got out that offensive line. The problem is he trying to do more with it instead Mm -hmm. of just making what he already good at better. better. It's not like it's not like what you was doing was flawless. I can see if it was a flawless fucking offense. Now, we know the run game worked real good, but it wasn't a flawless offense. Mm-hmm. Just keep building on what you got already that's already really good and make it better. But he trying to do too much. You know what, Black Bear? You know what, Black Bear? I'm going to tell you something, man. Arthur Smith right now got me feeling like I don't swallow seven Popeye biscuits without a goddamn glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, though, man. Hold like on, this, hold man. Hey, coach, you ain't finna swallow seven um, about the third when you dead. You well, dead but, third but, third third. I defended him for 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 not oh, playing this guy, and I was loud about it too. But okay, OG, we're wrong. <laughs> All right, we're gonna move See to the next. We're gonna move to the next time. Hold on, hold on. All right. Next topic, man. It's rumors or reality check. Is Matt Hollins and Desmond Ritter exchange on the sideline a sign of Ritter losing the locker room? Because people have been going crazy. Can I answer that first? Hey, go ahead. I mean, who, whoever wanted to talk about it. I'll go, I'll go first. Go ahead, man. I ran it about that earlier. Hmm. And here's my thing. Hopefully, hopefully not. But I have a message to Matt Hollins. The next time you decide to throw a fit on the sideline, them hands make sure <laughs> when the ball is thrown straight to you, you yeah. catch the motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> 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 he leads us in trouble yeah. right now. Do your job first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. If you want to be mad at Riddle, that's cool. But make sure you catch it. Because he, he, he could have cost us, I think, the first game against the Panthers when, he, when we had a first down and could have been first and goal. But he dropped the ball. They ruled it a no catch, and we had to settle for a field goal. So while you up there throwing a fit, acting like a big ass fucking kid, mm-hmm. make sure you do your job right. first. Now, to answer your question again, no, that's just I because he listen. You know he he backed down and he backed down. He basically lied and said it wasn't no problem with him and Riddle. So. Mm. There you go. Well, yeah, that the touch on what you just said, OG. Uh, like, address that they handled it in the locker room. You could tell that they handled it in the locker room because Ritter came out commanding the offense. You feel what I'm saying? That second half, he came out commanding the offense, so you right. know they had to talk about it. Ritter right. ain't that type to do it on camera though and just be like blasting their team, and he ain't the type to do it like that. He, Unless you I seen leadership oh. role. I seen leadership role in this motherfucker. I seen it in them. Wait a and I, and I, I, seen I don't think that too. And that's kind of what I want to bring up when you're done um, on that one. Toxic black. Hold on. Toxic him. black. Are you fucking listening? Listen with your ears and not your ego. Who, 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 who cocky, what cocky black say? Toxic black. Listen, oh, listen toxic, with your oh. ears and not your ego. Wait. All I said, I, it wasn't in defense of Ritter, dumbass. I clearly said if the Mac Collins is a. Hey, if you got that big of a problem, when he do throw the ball to you straight, if you listen, 
get the damn milk duds out your ear. When he do throw the ball to you straight, catch the motherfucker when he throw it to you. That wasn't defending rhythm. God damn. Yeah, we all just said we all just said the dude <laughs> <and> underthrow receiver, <laughs> and overthrow receiver, and made bad judgment call. We ain't said that. Yeah. We, we ain't defending them. We call can't read, can't read One the thing defense, about me, if you hear me on here, I'm gonna sh- shoot it straight. I'm gonna shoot it straight. Every time you hear me on here, I'm gonna shoot it how I feel. You know what I mean? So like, I'm I'm gonna come at him if he have a bad game. I'm gonna I'm gonna congratulate him if he have a good one. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So right now he in his learning curve. He's yeah. a certified rookie. That's what I said the other day. He's a certified rookie. Oh, he ain't learned that for them make, four games like that. You remember? He took that to the heart. Up shit. You know what I'm saying? He <laughs> took that to the heart when he said, uh, <laughs> you know how they say you got to have a short-term memory. Riddle took that to heart. He forgot about all them four games he did the year before. But, you know, you so see he's doing the same lost. stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Miss, Miss Pam just gave us some insight. Breaking news. Breaking news, everybody. The Texans is finna block the Falcons on Sunday. Who say that? Breaking news. Oh, whatever. Breaking they said news. it on their podcast. The Texans, they finna, they finna the Texans with a certified rookie Bro. as well. A certified rookie on the Texans. CJ Stroud in the Texans, who does have a beat up team, is going to put it to the Falcons. A blowout. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. I don't see why they have that much confidence. And, like, our defense ain't giving up parts like that, bro. All the way you say you uh-uh. saying, like, you're... We're going to ignore <laughs> this. Okay. Keep going. Uh, yeah, you know what? Our regular schedule program. Hey, man. Go ahead, man. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch from afar. I'm going to watch because mm-hmm. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to watch yeah. from afar. No, 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 stick, stick around. Oh, you stick stick around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, but let me um, let me jump in though. Let me jump in real quick before we you know before we get into it. Um, I want to say this because we still um just basically is he losing the locker room? Okay. I don't. I'm not gonna say Ritter is losing the locker room, but like we already said, it starts from the top. But I felt like this needed to happen because, like um, the Reaper said, he's seen leadership in Ritter before like he was on the sideline cussing people out at one point so it's like he has it in him so it's like I felt like the team just needed to be humbled a little bit more so it's like emotions were high everybody's reacting but like Chauncey said earlier OG you got to do your job as well so everybody got to be accountable for themselves in addition to taking it out on your leader you got to do your part. It was balls dropped and everything. You know what I'm saying? So everybody got to play their roles and play their parts. And it all starts with the top. You know, everything looks good on paper. We got a gr- good defense. We got all this going on. But it's like if you are not playing the right calls and your players are not trusting it, you know, because I think it was one point where not this game, but Ritter took it into his own hands to do something. On the side, you know, I don't know if you ever I forgot what game that was, but he was like, and Arthur Smith was over there looking like, What are you doing? So it's like there's a disconnect somewhere, and I think Arthur Smith needs to get that back. So the play it's gonna trickle down to the players and how they feel. They're gonna be passionate and everything about it. So of course they're gonna point it to the next man. Ritter is your fault. Maggie, I saw something Sunday. Mm-hmm. I, I want to make sure y'all, the y'all, all saw this. Do y'all notice when they cut away to the sideline after Riddle through the back shoulder fade to Drake and he got the mm-hmm. touchdown? Did y'all mm-hmm. see Drake's body language? Like yeah. he was still fucking pouting. And then, yeah. when they, then, then, then when they came back from the commercial break, same face, same face expression. Still. Arthur Smith. How many times you see Arthur Smith leave the actual front of the sideline and go to the bench? Arthur Smith. Over there, he was him. over there talking to him. And yeah, hey, doing the Dan Quinn, we're gonna call it, it, Dan it Quinn. <laughs> Listen, it could have very well been something wrong with Drake that day. Yeah, probably. Okay, because because I didn't even think of that until you just brought it up, OG. Because mm-hmm. that is that's the truth. After that touchdown, he scored, and that was a good drive for him. It wasn't just that mm-hmm. touchdown; he had a couple more catches on the way to mm-hmm. that touchdown. So it could have very well been something wrong with Drake. And 
I'm I'm not taking back shit I said about him. You still don't need to be over there with the goddamn I'm um, defeated face with the poo poo face, whatever it is. You need to you need to look in you need to that go shit to the spirit up. realm. Suck that shit up. Go to the spirit realm. Look for your ancestors and let them help you become great that day. And you can pout later on about whatever it is because just Punch like we'll be saying. <laughs> right. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't even out. know that he I scored a touchdown. You wouldn't even yeah, know that he scored You would have thought he it scored a touchdown and we was down 40 to, to 2. I'm like, yeah. bro, this touchdown literally put us back in the game. Why right. you? Why are you soaking? And then when he come back, you see Arthur Smith over there. Oh, damn, they're petting them up. I ain't never seen Arthur Smith do that. I'm like, It very well could have been something wrong with him that day. Nothing against the light skin, bro. But bro, quit acting light skin. Nothing against the light skin, bro. Damn, bro. I think I think they got the trainer wheels on Dez Marilla. He got to take the trainer wheels off. No, they don't. No, they don't. Why y'all keep saying that? Listen, listen. Why I say that? When he came in the first four, when he came in the first four game last year, they let him do rollout. They were letting him do all that, but they not letting him do that this year right now. Early part, Listen, something I ain't seen you want to know what training it, wheels look like? You want to know what training wheels look like? Training wheels look like not letting them throw deep passes. Training wheels look like not letting them change the play at the line. Training wheels look like him just being straight up or straight up or gray as hell, green Robot. as hell quarterback that they don't give no freedom to. I yeah, hadn't nah, seen they got, that. They, got they, the let, they let him the throw one, the one wheel up in the they, air. You know the ghetto train. The they wheel, the let him throw up. every <laughs> wheel. They let him throw every every pass in the passing tree. Every route in that pass tree, they let Riddle have it. They let Riddle throw it. It ain't, hey, ain't no training can, wheels on them, bro. What I'm saying, though, Black Bear, they can be telling him he can throw them passes, but they making him stay in the pocket. That's my problem. That's right right training now, wheel. but that ain't got nothing to do with training wheels. too right now, bro. Black that's my they problem right there. That ain't got nothing to do with training. Right. They ain't got nothing to do with training. Big Ant, Big Ant, what you got to say? What you, what you got to add? Hey, Ant. <laughs> hey, Anthony. Hey, hey Anthony. Anthony. Hey, hey. Don't, don't, don't be doing that. Lying ass, Ant. That's lying ass. <laughs> lying ass. <laughs> what you got? What you got to say, man? What oh, say? what I'm lying about? I ain't said nothing. Talking about you wouldn't you you take down Taylor Swift for twenty million. You liar. Liar. Nah. Uh, y'all just no, uh, nah, nah, see, y'all, y'all make some fool what I said. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I said that I, I said. Get all tra- okay, I'm sorry. See, see, you trying to get me riled up? Um, I'm sorry, Aunt. go on, continue with the show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're gonna lose in the locker room after this. Nah, nah, he ain't losing the locker room, man. I mean. It's just like we all just said. He's still a rookie, bro. Like, he's still learning on the job. Like, we got to give him, you know, a chance to, you know, get into his own bag. So, until he has, like, a a full year and he's still fucking up, okay, then I can say that he's losing the locker room. But as far as right now, nah, I can't say that. Now, Arthur Smith, on the other hand, he needs to step some shit up. But that's all I want to say. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, man. So I got I got another image I want to put up. It's, this one is going to be a hot, real hot time. Real hot. It's going to be real hot. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and move this to this. Riddle me this. <laughs> it's getting rid of Riddle. The answer. And it's Justin Fields, the savior to the current offensive woes. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've been seeing this shit over time, oh. all day. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold up. Hold, hold the hell up. It's a two-part. Yeah, man. Oh, Let's, talk about, it, man. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about oh, it. Let's talk about it. Oh, God. Can I go? Uh, hold on. Let, let, let me get this first. Let, let, let me jump first. Go ahead, jump, jump. Eh? So okay, this is the same. This is the same quarterback, right? Mm-hmm. That couldn't beat out Jake Fromm. Mm-hmm. Transferred to Ohio State, which is a, a easy school for quarterbacks. And now 
what the fuck is he looking at looking like in Chicago? And the Bears at the Bad New Bears. And he's supposed to come here uh-huh. and change. Hold on, am I am I tripping or you know uh, are we in the twilight zone or something? I mean, because I'm not understanding what the fuck we're looking at, bro. <laughs> they see him passing all those. He's passing and running around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Didn't they just lose, didn't they just lose the uh you know? Wasn't they leading at halftime and they lost their lead? And still lost. I mean, at the end of the game, I'm just, I'm, I'm just. So basically, they have they won the game this year. Have they? I, I don't think they have. Well, I don't think because they was in the, you know, the old bowl with Denver. <laughs> so what? I, I'm not understanding what. <laughs> he's the answer. They people feel like he's the answer, man. Bro, oh God! Bro, this dude had one good game, bro. Then mm. everybody forget about the play that this nigga had three wide open wide receiver, and he tucked the ball in and ran into a sack. Y'all forget about that play too? He had a good he had a good <laughs> game against a team that <laughs> gave up seventy <laughs> fucking <laughs> points the lot. week prior. He was supposed to have a good game. This this shit here is driving me fucking nuts. <laughs> Sam put up a stat earlier where Ritter is twenty fifth in the league. And 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 in time in the pocket, time in the pocket. Yeah. Fields yeah. is third in the league. So if right. he's third in the league with them, and can't hit a fucking parked car when he throw a football, what makes you think he's gonna do if he gets over here and be be twenty fifth in the league in 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 in, in, in the pocket? Man, my God, man! And God, they forget God. they forget OG Justin Field is six and twenty five. <laughs> That, yeah, that nigga that rough part. is ridiculous up that, there, bro. Come on, that man. Part. What he gonna do for down here? Run the ball. It, Maybe pass it. I don't know. It, oh, hey, so they it, they, they it resurrects memories of never mind. I mean, well, I know these folks that say get Tom Brady on the phone. I know good well he ain't say that. Get who? Get Tom Brady. Oh, on hell that. no. That nigga just uh, uh, he trolls no. right now. He no, mm, no. no. Tom, Tom Brady trying to be an underwear model. You know he ain't trying to play football. He's <laughs> his old ass. Hell no, no, we're not doing that. Mm-mm. I just, I just wanted to tickle a couple of people's ears by putting it up there. So we gonna go, we gonna skip past that because I know that's. Some I want to say something real quick before you skip uh, it. Real I quick. The, I I know, know, you want to taste it? You want to taste it? I know y'all. I ain't know if y'all want to taste it. Okay, we go gonna, we gonna, go it's gonna be a quick fire. That's all okay. I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna say <laughs> it's gonna be rapid fire. So mm-hmm. I feel like our fan base is just like how you got your your, your new lady. Y'all don't been kicking it for about a couple of months. Then you know, next thing you know, she don't left everything at your house, you oh, know, you know, don't <laughs> mess up your carpet. You know what I'm saying? So you ready to get see who else out there? So now they they shopping around for they, you know, they boot thing on the side. So this is what that Justin Fields situation is. It's like, well, you know, they're going to look past the flaws and everything else and like, but anybody is better than Ritter at this point. Grass and that's how right? I feel. Somebody said a white a woodhead. Or what is that? Woodhead? Whitehead? Wood. Wood. I said, what? Woodside. Oh, yeah. Put Woodside. Woodside. Mr. Woodside. All right, Black Bear, what you got for me, bro? What you got for me? Good. <laughs> um, Go, first bro. of all, first of all, <laughs> Let me put it back up. That was great. Why am I not high? I need to be high. <laughs> let, 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 let me um let me um <laughs> let me let me let me remind folks. What? Let me, let me remind some folks of some shit. Don't put no cut so, on the black bear. Don't put no don't get nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cut it raw, bitch. Yeah. Cut it raw. All right, so dead than riddle. And the Falcons win the first two games of this season, right or wrong. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. And in those two games, he did not have a turnover. Nope. In the first game, he was like number two as a uh, QBR. No, he, 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 he threw a pick in the screen, baby. He threw a pick in You get it right. He had some almost turnovers. Okay, he had some he threw, almost he threw, turnovers. He, he threw a pick against Green Bay. He did. 
Oh yeah, he did throw one. At, yeah, he did throw a pick against Green Bay. That's correct. Yeah, he got three, three. Uh, he got three. But he, yeah. three ints and two uh, fumbles. That's right. He did. He had a turnover against Green Bay. Uh, but if I'm not mistaken, in that same Green Bay game, he was the quarterback when we came back from down two scores, right or wrong. Right. Yes. And three scoring no, drives. That's four, four. That correct. That is correct. And I. And I do believe one of those scores was him throwing a touchdown to Drake London, right or wrong. Correct. That is correct. Okay. So here comes the next two games, and he looked like hot garbage. Hot garbage. So we just – but we're going to pretend like the first two games of the season didn't happen. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to pretend like the last two games of last season didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, see, you know how people say, well, you know what happened was, well, what happened was when he first got to start last season, he was green as fuck, right or wrong. It is, mm -hmm. he, he's a pure rookie when he first get that first start, right? And like we, what, what we, what is it? Like we 13? 14, 14, 13, one of those. Like we 13. 14 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you got a pure rookie. Okay, so your team who already ain't all that good in the first goddamn place with a rookie starting quarterback in the latter of the season lose the first two games, nobody's really frowning at that, right? Because he's a pure rookie, okay? Mm -hmm. And the team went all that good in the first goddamn place. But mm -hmm. then they win, they win the last two games. Right. And then the start of the next season, they win the first two games. Right. And they win them. They win them in really good fashion. It's not like we tripped and fell into these wins. We actually had to work for these wins. So mm -hmm. the most recent two games, he don't look good, and we ready to throw him away. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a total of eight games. We're talking about a total of eight games. Well, the last two are the ones that you can – are really – the only two pieces of, of game that you can use as evidence for your damn for your uh for your case to get rid of rip. So we gonna take two games. Now see, this is what we talked about. We talked about this shit. We said that it's gonna be a it's gonna be some moments. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be some time when he don't look that good. Mm -hmm. We said that, and I said I, I said we was gonna lose some games. I right. definitely said that. Listen, well, I think everybody said we're gonna lose a game. I don't think nobody said yeah, something. Said yeah. <laughs> listen, yeah, exactly. the Falcons, listen to the Falcon quarterbacks to beat Tom Brady. There's the Ritter in the list. The fuck? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. Just there's the Ritter. So the my, my point is my point <laughs> is is this. this. This is why I done got a little irritated this week with the Desmond Ritter conversation. And why I really don't want to talk about it no more after the day. So the red spit, y'all ain't going to – I'm not talking about this getting rid yeah, of this and really shit. We're going to squash that so, after this, yeah. <laughs> right. We need so to move on. This, this the last thing I'm going to say. I'm going to speak on it on we need to get rid of that and really see. I'm irritated because those of us, and including myself, who knew the, that this day was going to happen and people was going to be prisoners of the moment and they was going to be talking about throwing them away. Put the for sale sign on them. See, we allowing this shit to drive in the we allowing this narrative to drive. We allowing it to pick up speed to the point that well, you actually got fans thinking, oh, this is a real thing. They actually might be thinking about trading for Justin Fields. No, the fuck they not. They're not thinking about trading for Justin Fields. They're not thinking about trading for for, for we got other quarterbacks that we can put up in there before we make a trade for another quarterback. But the thing is, is the motherfucker who looked like ass the past two weeks, he didn't look like ass before them two weeks. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't so ass the other week. So because he have a, a a couple games behind each other that he don't look good, y'all ready to throw him away. It's the dumbest fucking shit I ever heard in my fucking life. It's dumb. Because if they would have threw away Peyton Manning, they wouldn't have won a championship when they when they acquired uh, Tony Dungy. If they would have threw away Drew Brees, if, if nobody would have took a chance on him, they wouldn't have won shit. 
regardless of if say it's an asterisk next to that to that uh championship, they yeah. wouldn't shit before Drew Brees. They wouldn't have been shit if they wouldn't have got Drew Brees. If you throw these guys away just because in the beginning they don't look so good or your little feelings is hurt because we didn't get the people y'all wanted. Well, Justin Fields, I'm looking at his stats right now. This motherfucker got 100 more yards than Des, not even 100 more yards than Desmond Riddle. He got three, he got two more interceptions than Desmond Riddle. He got just a few more attempts than Desmond Riddle. Lamar Jackson only has 50 more yards than Desmond Riddle, has one more touchdown than Desmond Riddle, has two less interceptions than that. What? So all these people, y'all say, oh, well, we go get him. They ain't doing no fucking better than the motherfucker y'all trying to get rid of. So you can see, you can say all your little clever things in the chat about getting rid of Devin Ridd, Devin Ridd ass. He ain't him. He ain't him a D. That Devin Ridd ain't him a D. Y'all think you think you're so, you think you're so fucking clever, but you sound so fucking stupid at the same fucking time. Now, see, call- right there, I'm going uh, to put it that way, then you can take it, OG. Now, see, y'all motherfuckers, y'all want to keep trying us like we trying to defend Desmond Riddle. Just go back and look at the damn tapes. We're not going to keep sitting up here explaining uh, our tapes with y'all. Just go back and look at the damn streams, and you'll see what we all have been critical of him. So mm. in the end of the day, he ain't do- the, 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 the motherfuckers y'all want us to go get ain't doing no better than his ass. So shut the fuck up. Sit in this style and read a book. OG. Dang, Black Bear. You removed the band-aid on that one. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. What's next? What's next? Take it off. All right. So so now, so, so now, since Blackberry has blessed us with his kind words, <laughs> we're gonna go to this take. Sorry for cussing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank smiley back, that. smiley back. <laughs> what does that? What does that mean for the offense? That just dance two is back. <clears throat> just dance two is back, man. Who want to take that? I, I think it's that? more of a momentum boost because mm-hmm. um when we was going out there to see training camp and everything, he was hyping the team. He was getting them happy. So he's gonna be that motivational piece. You know, he's that. All right, now, uh, London. Suck it up. Let's go. We got this. Let's do it. We got to be happy. We got to be. We got to go out here and say, okay, we ain't do so good in the first half. We got to come out here and execute like we did in the fourth. So it's like, yeah, I need to come on, get with it. So I think he's going to be in there to kind of be that locker room influence to kind of get them hype. And okay, okay, okay. We got to get this right. Okay. And big what you got? And here, good. Oh. I'll go. I mean, whoever, whoever wants nah, to go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to say something. Real I'm quick. about to say, and he a uh, he'll get a uh, special team player too. Let's not forget about that. That's Our bad. special team ain't been looking that hot either. So you know, and they put nah, Hesse on the they put Hesse on the injured reserve. So what he, what he should say is, man, quit acting like a little goddamn gal. Let's get out here and goddamn get to it and play. And play some play some Falcon football. All this damn pacified these these spoil ass rich ass individuals. See, I really want to really really go there, but Maggie gonna find me later. So, but I'm just All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm with y'all, man. I'm not. I'm not discussing this 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 uh, uh, Desmond Ritter situation no more because what I based on what I was told today, it was mind blowing. He ain't no rookie. Okay, so now you're going to be an overly smart dummy. Of course we know this is second football season, but he just had start number eight. Okay. All right. Hey, check it. Next person, go ahead. I was about to say, how many How many games are in a season? 17. He only Seven. did eight, so he's still a rookie. He's still in his first season. Yeah, the math ain't mathing on that. I'm I'm sorry. I'm just saying. That like, like coach say, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just saying. Anybody else want to um check in on Darby returning to the practice squad, doing his thing, doing his little dance, you know, getting hyped. Whatever it takes. Yeah. Whatever it takes. I think it's just one of I think it's just one of many moves he's gonna be trying to do. 
like the screen stuff up. He's trying to change the vibe up. You know yeah. what I mean? Change the vibe up a little bit. I see I hope, for this Sunday. Right. From here, from here in his uh press conference, I hope he take back over the design designing the play. You know what I mean? I hope he really take back over designing them play. That's oh, yeah. what that's what's gonna really set this team back right. He gotta take over designing them play, man. Let let Day Ragon stay over there like on <laughs> Yeah. Like uh, like they be saying, let him go order the coffee or whatever he got to do. Take the trash out, but take the know, trash whatever, out. whatever, whatever. Let snacks. that man go over there, bro. We pay you a couple million. Go take the trash out. Go take. Thank the trash you. Look, out, hey, day, day, day. Look here, day. You got your job. Got your good job. Your wife ain't gonna leave you. You are gonna make two million dollars a year. I got it from here. Just sit over here. Put your brill cream in your goddamn hair. Look, look cute. I hey, just sit over here. And guess what? I'm gonna even give you some credit. I got this from here. Go back to Falcons football. Go back to your identity. Swallow your pride. Stop trying to get cute. Don't try to listen, bro. How many times we done hurt? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, mm-hmm. I don't give a mm-hmm. shit. Hey, if we if we got a win game running for 250 yards a game and Desmond only throw eight for ten for 102 okay. yards, I'm cool with that. I'm okay, okay with that. I don't play fantasy football. I really don't. And if you do play fantasy football, don't don't listen. Don't put nobody on your team outside number seven because we already know we uh, uh, we we gonna give him a heavy dose of seven because of his skill set. Other than that, don't play none of the Falcons. Okay, John, no, okay, no, I appreciate no. I appreciate that. Uh, OG, you just brought my train of thought back. Go ahead, your boy Big Ant. Your boy Big Ant brought up a good little stat the other day on uh, I think it was on K Style them show. The two games we won, as you had more touches. Mm. The two games we lost, Bijan had more touches. Mm. What are the, the common denominators right here? Mm. Maybe Algier. I'm lost or something. Maybe I'm lost. What are Algier, the they, bell they, they, count? I, I see what you're doing, bell count. We know what Bijan can do. We know what Bijan can do. And that what makes it. him dangerous. After you come out and punch him in the mouth with Algier, then you got Bijan coming put jukes on him? Come on, man. Come on. You got a tired, beat up defense. Huh? Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, you're talking about his mood. That's his movement. Excuse me. <laughs> you, left, you left something, sir. Hey, he had that linebacker like you left something. <laughs> Look, yes, sir. I said, I, I, I see it. Before the line, after that Lions game, I said, Look, man, I form too tight our formation. You got two mm. tight ends out there half most of the time anyway. Right. Our formation, strong eye, whatever you want to do, weak eye, whatever you want to do, as long as it's our formation. And you run that thing without Joe up the middle and wet out the defense. The same damn thing your ass been doing. Right. You have been doing that. So why you doing That's why I said, y'all, that we really think about this shit too deep. W- way we too- really are. We what? really think about this shit too deep. You pound them with Algier. Once you get them tired, yeah. back on their heels, yeah. once they walk their safety up in the box, now mm. you're one-on-one with mm. five. you one-on-one with eight. They should yeah. win one-on-one matchups. Over. You open Over. up. Right. You That's open up saying. everything. Like, if, you, Over. if you feel like – I've been saying it, bro. If you feel like you got to start Bijan, give me two back sets. Bring me more two back sets out there. Now you right. got both of them out there on the field. Right. If you feel like you got to have him on the you field, can't fire both of them. I'm sorry, bro. Come on, bro. And both it's of them not- can catch. Let's not forget oh. as you had more catching oh. yards in college than goddamn Bijan. We we forgetting this though. Mm-hmm. This guy can catch two flat bro. routes. We need he to see more too, out bro. routes. That's what we need to see more of. More slants. Off the scr- off the line of scrimmage, more flat routes, more out routes. When when you want to sprinkle in that in in the passing game, after you done ran it down, they throw it a little bit. Those are the plays that you get it to your playmakers in space, and you let them get to work. Let them go to work. You let them go to work. I got an elephant in the room. I got an elephant in the room, but we're gonna wait the next week 
I want to address like I want to address a big old elephant in the room, a three thousand pound elephant in the room. But we ain't got time. <laughs> we ain't got time today. <laughs> <laughs> talk, we ain't talking about the elephants, man. Hey, and hey. one more thing, one more thing, bro. If okay. y'all bring y'all bringing back niggas from injury, bro, you better play them. If you're not gonna play them, don't 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 bring them don't back. Don't bring Let them back. Let that right. sit on the side because I hated what I seen from the Joker, your so called Joker you had called him, man, and he ain't get no touches. This man sitting here letting ball. All he can do for the whole game is let ball fly off his head on the kickoff. He was out there on one one, one play. On play. He was out there bro. one I play. Don't, I don't like that, bro. Don't tell me he read the play and you don't use him. Don't play him, bro. Don't play him. Right. right. So this segment of the show is called Two Cents. I'm about to put Tom's an image on the screen. Cents. Two Cents. It's called Tom's Two Cents. He feels like He's been watching ugly football with all these teams that are two and two. He ain't told no lies. Hold up, hold up, bro. Tom ain't even finna come here with that, bro. When he, he just ain't told no lie though, Will. When he just on the team that was under five hundred and won a division like that. Come on, yeah. bro. But is he lying? He but is he lying? Like is it, is but it is he lying? He ain't lying, lying but like, come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> so it's, like, like, it's, it's 13 it's 13 teams that are two and two going into week five is that good or bad regarding the falcons to being one of the 13 teams like is that good for us that we one of them two and two teams i don't see where it's bad we could be zero and four you'd rather be that I mean, come on bro what are we doing mm. okay. Just, uh, let, let, let me say this lot go ahead before 2021, what was our record? Four and twelve, right? Yeah, four. Oh, yeah, four and twelve with Mara. Jesus. And we're complaining about being two and two. Yeah. Are, are we? Are we fucking kidding? No. Nope. You know, people was complaining that we won. So this ain't yeah. far fetched to me. On, on, yeah, you on got a couple of people in the chat saying that he said hurt. that last year. He said that this year too. Oh, yeah. Okay. They were butt hurt about the two about the two wins we had when we were too old. They were butt hurt about them wins. So you just knew what was gonna oh. happen when we finally yeah. lost. Yeah. Sell the phone. Hmm. Sell the phone. Even though we got a defense now, we've been searching for for I don't know how how fucking long, at least twenty years. I'm gonna go on to say it. God damn it, I'm gonna say it. Maggie Fan. Say it. Who say it? <laughs> we was we was two and oh. We started hearing rumblings and grumblings about touches for five and eight. We came out of the next two games trying to get them more touches. Now we two and two. Kiss my ass with your tongue out. Mm. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> that part. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be broke for the next year and a half. I'm fine. <laughs> you know what I, I wish, Law? I I I'm wish fine. the fans are just I wish the fans are pay are just pay more attention to what's going on on the field from everybody and not just one person, not just the quarterback. Because your boy Blackberry, y'all can go back. Go back on the shows and watch before the Lions game when we were still two and oh. What did I say, Ant? I said we got to clean up the execution on these plays because it's even though they 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 resulting into completions and resulting into scores, it looks sloppy. Did I did I not say that? I you said I that. you saying it. We don't all we don't all called out the execution. So that's false. So 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 we, I mean that, it go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I got, I, I got just something I'm gonna say after you. What you say? No, I'm just saying, like, it, 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 it just y'all got to pay more attention to what's going on on the field, and not just the quarterback. Everybody, it's not, like I said, you have to. These players have to develop within their, within their, uh, respective, uh, positions. They got to develop within their respective positions. In order for us to develop as a complete unit, mm. 
All these guys got something they can work on because most of them are young. And this is what it all boils down to. To, to, to all, of, all of our loyal Falcon fans God. who are that upset with Ritter, I'm sorry. I'm not as upset as you are. Right. You're not going to make me as upset as you are. And because I'm not as upset as you are, that doesn't mean I'm defending Ritter. That means I'm just not as upset as you are. Exactly. It, that that, part, that, that you got more insight. It's just that simple. That, that's that's more more Because I know I clearly said on one of my shows, we got a lot to work on. Mm. We still yep. got a lot to work on. After, mm. after, 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 after win one, we still got a lot to work on. After mm. win two, we still got a lot to work on. After mm. win three, it's what the hell is wrong? When you when you gonna call Ritter out, man? Get the. But we we also said this in one of our shows. I'm pretty sure we don't said it in multiple shows that they said since we didn't play in the preseason, every game is gonna be adjustment periods. That's just what it is. <laughs> When look, man, the it's gonna look ugly. First of all, they ugly. cut the preseason. They cut the preseason down due to COVID from yep. four games to three games. And they wanted that they make, want that's, making, money. that's making thirty-two coaches got a coach entirely different. That's yep. making thirty-two coaches. Some teams got to actually worry about depth chart. We still on the back end of a rebuild, which means we have to worry about depth chart. That's why I defended Arthur Smith for doing it, doing this. We still got to worry about depth chart. Like we played the last game against the Steelers. Oh, everybody was all up in arms. Guess what? The Steelers came out, played their first unit, guys, all the way to the third quarter. They fans hooped and hollered like they had won their sixth Super Bowl ring. And guess what they did the very first game of the year against the go take a shit of hands? Laid <laughs> a fucking egg. Laid a fucking egg. So kiss my ass and call it a love story. That's another fan. <laughs> That's another one. You got one more time. <laughs> so um I, I want to say something about us um this London game. We we chose not to have our um buy and go ahead and play through this. Although that's not a topic, do, do y'all think that's a good idea or a bad idea? Coming off them two losses, motions are high, long flight, didn't take the bye, and you're going to go play against the Texans where they think C.J. Stroud is him at that. Reps He's or reps? Him. You always need reps. You, you, can't, you can't sit up here complaining about us not getting enough reps, then want to know why we ain't getting, get, getting off day. Let's scrap it up. Let's get at it. That's my that's my yeah. take on. Yep. Hey, I prefer I will buy late anyway. I prefer it to be yeah. late anyway. Too. I wanted that late. early buy killed us last time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I I like early buy. We took our early buy, and then after that it was like everybody was tired. Yeah. Puzzled out. Yeah. So the Texans were coming down to hey hey. Did Magnus say he was coming down this this weekend? No, he's gonna, he gonna make it down another game. Y'all got, y'all got, y'all got to take this in consideration too. We got one Thursday night game, so after that Thursday night game, we got a mini back. We don't got no Thursday night. We ain't got no prime time game. We don't. No. Nope. Nope. Wow. Like... Thursday night. Mm. No prime time games. Hmm. I must have been hollering when I looked at the schedule. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm with us. <laughs> I mean, I take a look at it again, uh, OG. I, I already know we ain't got sure. no, we ain't got no prime time unless they flex it to us. We ain't got nah, no prime. Uh, we do have a, do we do they? have a game that's to be announced. It's, I think it's a Carolina game. It's, a, it's one of our divisional games. We got, yeah, we matter of fact, we had two games in the back end of the season that had to be to announced to be announced. Yeah, so they can flex them games. Pretty much Saturday, they'll probably flex them games to Saturday. <laughs> All right, so we're going against the Texans, man. So the opportunity against the opposition. We got two rookie quarterbacks, and then we got two teams that's basically rebuilding they and rebranding themselves to be the favorite in their division. Anybody got thoughts on that? Because I don't know, for some reason, people think again, just because CJ Stroud had one hell of a game last week. And and they two and two. I guess they Christmas feel like, of the moment. You remember you you let's not forget they thought Jordan Love was gonna have a hell of a game too because he had came off a good game. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
Oh, John Love gonna light the Falcons up. Yeah, what what he do? Throw for a hundred and some yards? Okay. Yeah, just like yeah, Carolina and, um, and Bryce Young. They think of this dude it was like, hey, we're gonna get melted by this guy. Now he yeah, now he's just a Now he's hey, just a record. Before we played him, he was a hey, he was he was him until two. Him until the third or something. Hey, hey, I got a question for you, Will. Did uh did Jordan Love even throw for a deep ball in that game? I'm just I'm just curious. He throw for one that we busted ball, coverage bro. on. We busted the cut. We had a busted coverage on it. Yeah. You remember that busted cover Richard Grant did? That was Richard Grant been busting up coverages lately too, man. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about him not being. Yeah, to know what outside the one in Detroit. <laughs> See? Yeah. Yeah, the Green Bay was first. And the Green, Green Bay was first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, when it's when it's time to get paid, man, we got them deductions gonna be coming. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, How much you need to be be paid with the, with, with with the top ten safeties in the game? No. Mm-hmm. Let me no. let's no. let's roll back the tape, bro. <laughs> let's run that <laughs> tape back. <laughs> let's roll back the tape. Wow. Yeah, I see you pouting. I see you with your lip poked out, but uh, <laughs> still think you need that that extra two point five? No, bro. And then, and then you the funny thing about that too, those you those mistakes, those mistakes long Look, too. You better take this two year seven point five million dollar deal and get on out my face, man. Get out of my office. <laughs> get out of my. Oh, see, I would need security. Five. Listen, if I was the general manager, I would need security because I would give them a whole dose of truth when they come up in there. <laughs> Even oh. Desmond, Des. I wish you would come here talking about you need to be a uh, 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 top ten high paid quarterback in the league, boy. Them they got them three, co- that, 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 them two colorblind in seven. You yeah. had it, had well, it. We're not gonna do that, Chauncey. No, but, but I'm just saying, I'm just talking in general. <laughs> you know, but, but still, Daniel, I just criticized that Desmond Ritter. <laughs> He's, hey man, Chance, you're gonna you gonna get fined again. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm, 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 I'm a I'm a mute you now. I'm a remove you now. <laughs> I'm broken. I'm broken. Can't be telling the truth like that. Can't be telling the truth. I'm too broken. Much, too I'm, much truth. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be too much. Too much sense, Chauncey. And Anthony, don't you start with me? <laughs> <laughs> he, don't you start with me? What you mean to start? He said he him. That's <laughs> DJ Stroud. Hey, he him. Can't stop. Won't stop. Right. Now we need you to put on your black tank top, like you posing for oh. your album cover. Don't get oh, me started. Wow. <laughs> when you land on the pillow, wow, that's crazy. Yeah, there it is. Laying out on the there, pillow. There it is. Wow. Laying out on the pillow. <laughs> there, on, there there it is. Women hit me talking about OG. Who is that OG? He said, "Hey, what's OG?" Don't holler at him. You know. Good idea, OG. But, but hey, let me, let me say this. Go ahead. Look, before the season started, even before training camp and all that, I said that this was going to be a make or break year. For Arthur Smith or the team? No, for Richie Grant. Oh, cool. We still on him? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, like I said, man, when he tried to sign my football, when I asked Calais Campbell and Jesse Bay signed my football, Mm-hmm. I'm over there. I just snatched my ball back, bro. I'm like, ah, now nah, you good, bro. Wow, bro. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bro. Hey, man, y'all get out. Y'all, y'all get out, Richie, now. Y'all Listen, man. Listen, <laughs> man. Uh, champagne bath, you can go take a goddamn shit in your hand. <laughs> this, you're talking about some less franchise rid of then. This motherfucker in his second season. Why you trying? See, y'all, y'all so busy with trying to be funny. See, this go back to what, <laughs> what what we talked about when when we said as soon as Riddle started making mistakes, when he starts showing his inexperience, y'all gonna be the first ones to start talking shit. Yeah. But you yeah. gonna be you you ain't gonna have nothing to goddamn bag up your damn shit until he finally start making the mistakes. Now see, he done made the mistakes, so now you talking about let now you want to be funny talking about some left franchise Riddle then. All we say, listen, man. Let, let without cussing your ass out. Let me put it this way to you. He had two bad games out of the eight games he done played. You don't have. You can't go back on no other game out of the eight games other than the last two to prove your point. 
which means that you full of shit and you <laughs> still don't know shit. So you, you, you y'all, y'all trying to poison the rest of the fan base minds with this bullshit, bro. But and after, when we after get you take, y'all, to, hand, after you take that shit in his hand to clean his hand, tell him to take a long walk on a short pier. Hey, OG coming with the shit tonight. I'm sorry, OG coming with it tonight. I'm sorry, man. Behave the rest of the rest of time. I'm gonna behave. I promise. I promise. (laughs) Okay. It's 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 ridiculous, man. Because we just when we tell y'all that these guys in the league right now. These guys in the league right now that they fan they respect the fan base who was ready to throw them away. Tua, Josh Allen, Kirk Cousins, uh McCully Coken over there in Cincinnati. Joe Burrow. <laughs> Joe Burrow. Give me your ass they, 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 <laughs> they, they we look like and shit. But they respect the fan base who was ready to throw them away. Right. But they see, were. when we tell y'all that, y'all act like that shit don't exist. It going one end, not the other. You making excuses for Ritter when you say that? Yeah, that part. Yo, I'm making excuses. All oh, right, that's mm-hmm. right. I'm making yeah. excuses. Yeah. 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 What, one of uh, the same, of the, but, but this go go ahead, Law. Go ahead. I, I was about to say, if you think about it, John Elway had one of the worst starters of like worst rookie seasons out of all the quarterbacks I think ever. Troy Aikman went one in fifteen. <laughs> Oof, nah, I think Troy Aikman got it then. <laughs> Troy Aikman went one in fifteen. We can't do that. Remember, because when we up. do that, we're we're uh, you know, we're protecting Ritter. We're not. We're not yeah, you know, yeah, like, we're comparing him to a great. We can't do that. Remember? Yeah, I mean, um, but at the end of the day, you gotta give you gotta give Ritter grace. You gotta give his team grace. We don't understand why Austin Smith on third and one had an empty backfield. Um, our defense is holding up. Our offense needs a, a fucking offensive leader to go ahead and galvanize the team and, and get in their ass. And like I said, at the end of the day, I wasn't mad about Matt Hollis. I'm just – he hasn't been catching some of those balls that he could have caught. But so we're going to go to the Texans. I, I didn't really want to talk about the Texans because they trash anyway. They've been trash for the last few years, and they had Deshaun Watson on their team. They were praising Deshaun Watson up just like how they're doing Stroud. And then all of a sudden, when Deshaun got hurt, they pushed him out to the side because he came back. And went, I mean, he has a good season. He had 4,000-yard season, but at the end of the day, bro, he's still still trash. C.J. Stroud, he, he did good. What, Ohio? Okay. Yeah, so Ohio I would have, Yeah, okay. So they got good they, – they produced good quarterbacks, and he was still in the championship game with all those passes that he passed and still lost. So what's the prediction? Hold so on, they don't how predict, the they don't. Fly. We got, they don't do produce a, good quarterback. All their quarterback been bust in the lead now. Now, <laughs> <laughs> win, lose, or draw, man. What's the what's the prediction that you think this game? How you think this game is gonna go? Based off of everything that happened, the two away losses, the you you in London looking embarrassing. People arguing. Well, I will hope. Line. Go ahead. Well, it's gonna, I will be, hope. It's gonna be a dub. Damn, the rims don't lose at home. That one thing we can show <laughs> if we can take from anything, he don't lose at the house. Somebody ain't lost at home. He ain't lost at home since Little League. Mm. Yeah, he ain't lose at home in high school or college. Yeah, he ain't lost at home since Little League. Nope. Mm. I mean, I would hope that Alter Smith, after after trying to do some some new shit two times in a row and it not working, I hope. That he would have learned this lesson to just do what the fuck you know work and let the shit that you want to do that you want to try to do let what you do that works open that up for opportunity instead of trying to create those opportunities. Right. I told y'all the minute they did that little piece on Bijan before the Detroit game, I said, "Oh shit." Yeah. It, 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 there we go. Oh boy, yeah. they had them scouted already. But back to that third, that third down play when he had empty backfield. 
when I called my medicine man later on that day and he told me he was out, I was convinced Arthur had bought it all. And I'm done. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. But that makes sense, bro. I was, I was, I don't know what that was, bro. Third and one. I'm thinking maybe Ritter finna sneak it, try to throw him off or something. I was a thing. It was a pass. <laughs> Incomplete pass to it. I'm going to go empty backfield and I'm going to throw it. Yeah, I I think we we gonna do better this game, man. I I, feel, I honestly feel like, you know, one we're gonna be representing the home team. Um, after coming from those two losses, man, it's time to get back on track. As we thought it was a back to business game, back to business game is this one at home. We thought it was the one in London, but it's gonna actually be this one. Um, get back to business. Um, I don't feel like we gonna struggle with texans because they've been trash for years too so i don't know why like you like they i listen to uh k styles them show and these two you know houston lovers the texan lovers they was gassing them up so and they was calling cj stroud hemothy and him and <laughs> i thought it was laughable just to hear it he's like he him i, I could tell how he's developing <sighs> i got texas being us 20 beating us this person's us? Us. You one of us? He said he's a Falcon fan. And he said yeah, CJ yeah. Stroud is him. He, he said let let, hey, let can I let, let me read this all lock. Let me read this all. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm help y'all out. Those of y'all that saying CJ Stroud is him. Is him okay? He Ooh. he played four games, he's 94 for 151. That's 62% completion percentage. That's solid. He got 1,212 yards over four games. That's solid. Mm -hmm. Three. He averaged 303 yards a game. Solid. Six touchdowns. Solid. solid. No interceptions. Solid. solid. He, he's, he's only been sacked 11 times in four games. Okay? And he got a rating of, uh, of 100. If we round it up, it's 101. But guess what? He's only he's not even averaging a first down per throw per attempt. He's averaging eight yards per attempt. So you remember back in early when I said I can see through the bullshit? <laughs> you see, y'all giving all the credit to CJ Stroud, which to his credit. He has done really well at not mm -hmm. fucking up. He's done a really good really job, good but job. not fucking really up. Now, hey. he do got some fumbles, though. Mm -hmm. He might not have interceptions, but he do have some fumbles. But you know, for the most part... You know part, what that sounds like? That sounds like a whole bunch of get the ball to the playmaker and letting them do their it job. It sounds like a whole shit. lot of yak. Ain't that what it we do? Like a whole lot of yak. Yeah. Guess, uh, but who's, guess who's the worst team in the red zone? Who's do you think the worst team in the rest of us and, and, and getting touchdowns? Would it happen would to that, be the would Texans? That. It would be the Texans. Yeah. I knew it was them. They good at they good at third down percentage, but they they like the last. They last when it comes to getting touchdowns in the red zone. So they known for you know kicking field goals. What happened? What happened? What happened? CJ last time he played played in Mercedes Benz. Loss. Oh, now we at the root of it. Got his ass back. Lil B, who is doing great this year. Well, okay, well, now we go. know why you. Okay, well, you go. I understand now. There it is. Cookie. So, wow. Yes, sir. So, those numbers that you that you uh, gave to us, mm. isn't that doesn't that play into what this defense is about? Yes, because we, we normally stop and shut people down. They're not really scoring us like that. We'll, we'll give you everything between the 20s. We'll give yeah. you everything. But yeah. then when we get in that red zone, we're going to shut your ass down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. stop I wonder what Kevin one. Ritler had against us. What did Kevin Ritler have against us? Like, he had like, a touchdown due to a blown He had two catches, right? Two catches. Two catches only. 38, 38 yards. Yard. Okay. 38 yards. Okay. I'm and, 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 and about I'm 20, and about 20, 29, 30 of them y'all that came from a blown coverage that got on Richie Grant did. He wasn't in position. Right. It was blown coverage. So and like Corey Gilfrey. 
Condors oh, lead the NFL in, in yards after catch. Mm. I mean, you got to make the math make sense. I, I have no problem with y'all being impressed with C.J. Stroud, but no. you got to call it like it is. His, the people he getting the ball to are making him look really good because he's not even averaging a first down on per, on, per pass attempt. The same shit y'all getting on us, getting on uh, on about Desmond Riddle not throwing the ball far enough down the field. Well, your boy CJ ain't throwing the number eight yards on average. So give the respect to the guys he throwing the ball to as well. It ain't just see, oh, see, go look at the tape. CJ Stroud balling. Yeah. You know who else balling? You know who else balling? The some bitch he threw it two five yards over the line of scrimmage and picked up twenty yards. That's some bitch balling too. He said the Texans ain't no joke. Don't sleep on them. No, they <laughs> still sorry as hell. Fuck the Texans. I mean, like I said, man, they they before CJ Stroud. How you think they got CJ Stroud? Because they was trash. When you get those good draft picks and stuff, and you trade up and you give up all that stuff, then you trash. That's just what it is. Y'all got a good head coach. Y'all got a good quarterback. You got one receiver. He's decent. Your team is beat up. They unhealthy. Oh. They winning. We losing. Oh, 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 they winning. Oh, oh. We losing. But we got the same oh, 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 record. Oh, oh, oh. And we got the same record. And y'all talking about he him. Huh? Shit, then that means rid of him too. Got the same. It's in the red right. color. Man, how many stats stuff? And we don't care about They got, oh, they got wins against school. Because I'm not. Uh, I just they got wins against the Jaguars <laughs> and Pittsburgh, who quarterbacks were acting like shit. Like Pittsburgh quarterback was looking like shit. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just heard Carmelo Hayes talk about how he was him Saturday night, where the new NXT champion is Ilya Dragunov. <laughs> by, by the way, catch, oh, he is him. By, by, <laughs> by the way, catch me Thursday at twelve. Thursday at twelve, exclusive world of wrestling. My bad, lock. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's open it up for questions, man. Cause let's let's let, let, let these people give us some questions about what they talking about. Cause if he him, I, I want them to give us some questions that we can answer. Like what they think, like yeah, something silly, awesome. like what y'all think we y'all gonna do against CJ Stroud and his passing or something. We're gonna have Okuda and AJ Terrell make a no fly zone. Hopefully, Richard Grant don't give up anything. Let's bring in your questions, man. I, I don't know, man. I, I don't heard this man CJ Stroud is him so many times. That's why I, I put it up there. I'm not get wrong. CJ CJ Stroud, he, he's a good quarterback. I ain't gonna say he ain't. He's a good quarterback. Oh, he but bro, he's he a rookie, ain't gonna come down here and dominate us. I'm gonna let you know that now. He's a rookie. They said the same thing about come Bryce down and dominate Listen, us. bro. Get, get it. Get, y'all better start putting some more respect on this defense before they make you. They going to make you put respect on their goddamn name. Y'all think this defense play games with, with – oh, this defense don't play no games, bro. Mm. They don't play – if it's not for busted coverages in the last two weeks. In two weeks. In the last, in the last three weeks, really, mm. from, from your different. boy, Richie Grant, and and, and uh, number 33. AJ if it ain't, buddy, was it, late going on one of, one of the routes. AJ was late, but he was expecting Richie Grant to be up. I think AJ oh, no, you – you talking about when he got the PI. Yeah. So the busted, if it's not for the busted coverages, man, these quarterbacks ain't putting up no numbers on us, man. This defense don't play no games with nobody. But just like Bryce Young, CJ Stroud gonna be introduced for real into the NFL to the to this Falcon defense. I'm gonna tell you something I don't notice about them cats. Them cats out there laying some wood, Jack. 53, like mm -hmm. him. Let, oh, that's why we're coming up to this question. Oh, that was a good really? one, boy. That was a good it's one, OG. Because they showed some like film it. on that ball, but that ball was mm -hmm. lying to the hey, ball. 55, love them. 48, love them. Listen, we got two We got two grown men on that defensive line. 90 and 97 doing their work. Mm. You got a veteran over there setting the edge. Two veterans setting the edge. We got Bates still in that ball out there, middle. So we got we we got psycho. I'm gonna start calling him psycho. Norman Bates. Anyway, oh. 
What we got Psycho back there playing center field. Only thing we need twenty seven to do is, bro, we can't we can't afford brain farts. <laughs> Okay, the we need 27 to stay in his lane. Stay in your lane. They need to put Helms in, bro. They need to play Helms. They, they play, play Helms. Helms. They, they play Helms. No, they yeah. need to play Helms. They need play to Helms play Helms over uh, Richard Grant. Yeah, I ain't talking about just giving them, you know, a handful of snaps. I'm talking about play that boy. Can he play strong safety? Yes. And yeah. they need to at least dress CP3. At least dress him. Yeah, but so, and play my boy and play my boy Fish Patrick sitting over there itching and yeah. about to block off somebody. Yeah, he he was like that standing there with his clothes on, just looking <laughs> like he was well. Uniform. They put they put Hesse on the uh injury, so they might be Fish Patrick. They might be the pickup right they now. need, right? It might be so, Fish Patrick way in. I think Fish Patrick like, been dressed. Yeah, been he dressing. was. Like, then Lamar get some playing time. Yeah, then Lamar not really. Hesse ain't, ain't been playing, bro. No, nah, Hesse ain't been playing. He been hurt. Yeah, he been out. Yeah. He's got put on the injury list. What, what after week one or two? Then after week one, yeah, 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 yeah. After they caught him, after they caught him and re-signed him, then they put him, they put him on IR. Yeah. So then Lemon already start up for uh start for Troy. Yeah, and Troy's out. Lemon he was out of the Yeah, yeah. Lemon been doing his thing too. The oh, the, yeah. the, the the position the position that we thought was gonna be the weakest is actually got a good strength there. They lie about it. been strong. Yeah. They've been, they been out there flying. They've been flying around, boy. Oh, yeah. No, they, they attacking they they attacking them gaps. They mm -hmm. attacking the gap and not waiting on something to come in the gap. That's the it's a difference, ain't it, OG? <laughs> it's a difference. That's a major difference. Lord have mercy. I bet you Michael Walker like, God damn, man. I wish I had a goddamn field of eight. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a field of goddamn eight. Guys. Boy, I'm up here stuck with goddamn Justin Fields. No, nah, he ain't even in Justin Fields. He's out of Vegas now, ain't he? He went he was trying out in Vegas. I don't know. Oh, trying, oh, oh, man. He ain't even Michael Walker. Yeah, he went yeah. Vegas. He went Vegas. Chicago Cubs. They signed him. Michael Justin Walker. Chicago caught him before the season started. I don't yeah. know if he on the 53 or he on the. Uh, Practice squad, but That's he will be right. up on the Vegas. If you go look him up, he on the Vegas. Uh, D Lawton said, Whoa, whoa, go right back to D Lawton. He, yeah, he said, 2017 Texans, Riddle, Riddle throwing three INTs. Boy, stop. And he pulled, and he pulled to be a Falcon fan. You see, this shit we talked <laughs> about. Right? Fans. 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 They see Jeff Stroud fans, they see Stroud fans, but they come on. The who, 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 who are this one solo cat, man? <laughs> One song, he that, was on the show last week. He he who, uh, on Sunday. He came on the uh, post game Sunday. Let's see. Let me see what we got. What we got for him? On Riddle's dick like their like their family only only hope. Who's what? That's what he said. Ain't who no, who that? Who that you talking about? Who that you talking about? One. Hey, man. I be who that you to talking cool. about? I be trying huh? to be cool. So. I try, I try. We try not to bring this to your show lock because we know they're supposed to be like the quiet storm. Like, yeah, it's cool. It's it's cool man. <laughs> yeah, man. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Hey, man, he catch, you know hey Blackberry, he catch, <laughs> really, he catch really, really get sexy with their mouth, ain't it, bro? Oh, yeah, wow. They get real sexy jazzy. with their mouth. That's nice. They get real jazzy. Their mouth ain't it, man. Man, I don't drop that link. Drop that link one time. God, dog, what he can't get real facts at the mouth, ain't it? Jay said, drop the link. Play that trumpet, boy. Play that saxophone, boy. Now I got to be on a man man region, boy. I swear, boy, he cats. I said, manscape, my God, manscape. Oh, boy, he cats funny, man. Let me see. I'm gonna go to the chat. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Ah oh, man, it's all good, bro. That's how y'all feel. Warren, stop it, bro. bro. We got any more questions? You ain't built like that. Questions. Hold on, Warren. You ain't built like that, bro. Stop it. Yeah, don't do that. Because if you was, you <laughs> type it. Hey, you man. ain't built like that, bro. So stop it, bro. Yeah. Well, if you was, not... you wouldn't type it. <laughs> Cut it's it out, good, man. Look, Cut it out. Uh, I don't know who you're trying to press. Any more questions stop. in the chat that we can answer? Before we just end this show, because I'm not really with the disrespect, you know, I, I'll let you, I'll let you know people do what they do. I mean, I understand you're passionate, but when you went 
there's no way I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm such a Falcon fan. When Carolina made it to the Super Bowl, I was rooting for the other team. I would never yeah. root for anybody other than right. my squad to win. Because I'm not going to do, especially in my division, get up out of here. When the Eagles was going, when they beat us, I wasn't going for the Eagles. They beat us. You know what I'm saying? I'm going for the other team. So, everybody go ahead and speak your piece, man. Go ahead and shout out to shows. We're going to end this thing. People getting disrespectful in the chat, man. That's cool. Yeah, I don't lose no sleep over this, man. Everybody got Twitter. Man, it's thumb. You thumbing over a chat, a live chat. I mean, bro, that, that means nothing to me. You know what I'm talking about? We're gonna invite home over the nothing but the truth. Yeah, I but said you got built like uh you got a question. Yeah, you soft. Okay, you soft as a living room sofa. You soft. I'm on the truth. We good, bro. Um, it's already an hour and 30 minutes, man. We don't need to really it's it's over with now. So how many sacks do we get, man? Honestly, I think we're gonna get we're gonna get like four. I see four. I see a whole bunch of hurry ups, and I see one. I see at least one int and four sacks. If we don't get four, we're gonna get at least three, three and um, one int. And we're gonna make him look like her or whatever he want to be at the time. But, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, we, uh, you know. So that's just how I feel about it. Because like I said, man, they, they're not for the comp the Texans, bro. I get it. They happy to have their new toy, but they're hey, not about hey, to come Hey, girl, he not, he not going to put the link up. He about to close his show out. Come to Rent's Pit. We will drop yeah, that link about, for you, bro. Man, I'm not going to link for you. Yeah, I'm not going to sit up here and put no link up there. So you just come in here and try to blast off and try to be shown, man. So what what one mm-hmm. be saying, showing your thigh meat? We ain't finna get it. Bring it to the pit. Bring it yeah. to the Rex Pit tomorrow night on Black Bear the Rex Channel. That's Black Bear, no C, just the K. Just the K. On Black Bear the Rex Channel tomorrow night, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. But before then, guess what? My OG got a show earlier that afternoon, don't you, OG? Oh, man, we're going to talk a little wrestling, man. We're going to talk some wrestling, man. Some wrestling. Girl, let's get it, baby. Let's get it. But I need me a UFC guy. Well, I get me a good UFC guy. We can talk UFC. I know nothing about it. But make sure y'all <laughs> start at 12 high noon Thursday. Yo, yo, Pastor Girl, we we need we need pasta. We need this. That's a good question. Now, that's a good I mean, question. Uh, that's a great question. I brought this up on Sunday. I would say, I would say to that question, if we go ahead and do what we our identity is. Then it will open up opportunity mm-hmm. To, to, mm-hmm. to use Scotty Miller to shut yeah. that thing down. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Once they once they once that safety come up, those DBs are locked in on they those one on ones. Like I say, once we start doing, we get to that Falcons football. We'll see Scotty Miller do his thing. Because we I keep had going to jump on break. here real quick. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, wait a minute. I'm looking at the yeah, chat. They get oh, what? Man, what? Man, what? Man, I love they it. They losing their damn mind in the chat. I mean, oh, we're going to see some addresses pulling out there. It ain't that serious, people. It ain't oh, that serious. Y'all yeah. got to get out y'all feelings about whatever. Everybody else got opinions right about now. Y'all so quick <laughs> to want to jump on and challenge this and challenge that. <laughs> no, they like, no, they don't. Hey, Let's uh, talk about it. No, they hey, don't. Let me. Okay. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. Yeah. So, like I said, no, they don't. Like, they, they don't. All right, Megan, what you got to say, man? Stay your peace. Stay where you can find you at. Hey, man. Look, I'm going to continue to say this every, every week. Relax. Just relax. Relax. Like, not right to say, relax. <laughs> Relax. We go from the first quarter of the season. It's cool. I get we all, you know, overly, you know, excited and you know, we down on the team because we done lost two in a row. Okay, cool. That's football. It happens. But hey, anyways, y'all can find me on um, on Twitter at Big Ant Truth. 
on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Big Ant. Everything that everything got going on. Reaper. You know, Reaper. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's your boy, it's George Reaper, man. The chat, man. I the AFN, chat, man. AFN, AFN representer, man. That darn hood. Not affiliated with ESPN. Ghetto analyst. Up in this mother clucker, man. Hey, man, y'all can find me on Will the Georgia Reaper on every outlet out here, man. Catch me doing anything with AFN, whatever they got going on. But catch my show tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Oh, Everything Atlanta Sports, man. Make sure you're there. Come on there. I'm going to drop the link for you. You got something to say. I'm going to drop the link for you. Come on over there. Mm-hmm. Everything Atlanta Sports, bro. When I do my question and answer, bro, you can come on and pop your shit. I don't care. But as long as you respect for my nigga, you can talk. But yeah, nah, ain't nobody gonna meet be me respectful. there. Meet me there, homie. It's too, it's too, uh, it's too hot. They ain't gonna be no. It's too hot. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> moving, removing folks. All right, because it's getting a little too, too personal and serious yeah. up in this thing about something. Like, come on now, come oh, on, yeah. be hey, men and stop being move, bitches Maggie. at this Don't point. Don't gotta move. We. We, we, I, it, it ain't nothing that can't be sorted out. It yeah, ain't nothing that can't be sorted didn't have out. have to move. You didn't have to move her at all. Because I had something for her. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. Listen, <laughs> hey, I'm your man OG Truth with a two. Hurts with a Z. Y'all make sure y'all catch me on Thursday. This Thursday coming up. Look, hey, we're going to rock out with our first show, Exclusive World of Wrestling. Make sure you catch me on Monday for nothing but the truth. Both times. Gonna be high noon, and then on Tuesday night, right, right, uh, uh, preceding the Loch Ness, and right, receipt right, preceding the six man, six man report. Listen, it's gonna be the realistic OGs. Hey, hey, look here, AFN. Let me tell y'all something, man. Look, you can't be more mad than me about us losing. We all mad that we losing. Okay, it's okay to have a difference of opinion, but we uh, listen here. Don't 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 do the disrespect, and then when your energy is matched and doubled down on, now you want to catch feathers. No, mm-hmm. right? Listen, over here we gonna match it and double and double it down. Okay, all right. So mm-hmm. hey, we can hey, we can save all that. All right, and if you want to, never mind. Look, man, you're gonna get five, man. Calm down. You're gonna get five. Again, you already got three demerits. Hey, I'm your man. You can always catch me on Facebook. Government name Charles M. King. You can catch me on Instagram with, with my nickname, Big Scooby 87. Big Sexy Scooby 87. But I'm sexy, man. I know. Listen, y'all can catch me on X. I on know Twitter. that's salt and pepper. Dude, sexy. Hey, listen. Sexy. <laughs> Look here, man. Y'all check out my channel, Truth with a Two TV. For all the crew on here, man. Again, I'm your man, OG Truth Hurts. I'm gonna always seek and speak the truth, and the but, old truth, and nothing but the truth. Lock, take us home, baby. Now I want to see if Miss Mac wanted to say something. You know, Mac, I'm sorry. What? Well, I'm just gonna say this, and I appreciate you, Reggie. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, everybody just, just, you know, they on their periods at this point because of these two losses oh. back to back. Mm. So. You know, Please. everybody high energy still until they mm. see a win. Mm. We ain't gonna shut up. But at this point, a lot of Falcons Nation, we done with the riddle talk. You know, it's time to move on to the next game. We don't get off the plane, jet lag over with. It's time to get back to business, right. like Locke said. So the players go back to practice tomorrow. Hey, we gonna we gonna start because concentrating. On the human yes. section tomorrow. That's it. That's it. All right, man. I am. Hey, uh, Black Bear, do you, do you want to say anything before I, before I start? I know you said what you said, but just make sure. You yeah, uh, yeah, just make sure y'all come over to Blackberry Lorette's channel on YouTube. That's Blackberry, no C, just the cake. And we tune into the Rex Pit tomorrow night, 6 30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to drop the link. Is it we going to get it off our it chest. Or Thursday? Oh, what tomorrow is? Y'all know I'm a, ch- tomorrow, I'm a truck driver. I don't, 
I don't know what that man is. <laughs> Damn, Thursday. Thursday. Dude, we got the back, Blackberry. I appreciate you, Ant. But Thursdays, <laughs> every Thursday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, come to the Rich Pit. Uh, listen, we can get it off our chest on uh, Thursday night, baby. We get it off our chest. I, look, I said this was the last night I was going to talk about this shit, but I tell you yeah, what. Yeah, one more day. I, one more night. I I I will I do it one more day. Since since it's so it's so hard on folks right now and people so butt hurt right now, we gonna talk about it on the Rex pit just for a little while. But we got to move on to the Texans, okay? So yeah. y'all make sure y'all come to the channel, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit all the buttons that help the, that help the channel, and make sure you go to hometeamfits.com. That's home team. Fits.com and get your home team Falcon apparel. We got Braves apparel, and you can rep your city if you go to home team fits.com. Appreciate y'all. Y'all make it do what it do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we invite it. Listen, I'm listen. If you want, if you want to come on, and I'm gonna say this, then we can go. If y'all want to come on, just type it. Just say, hey, man, let me join us so I can speak my piece. We ain't got to be different. Hey, AFN hey, got shows seven days a week. For seven days a week. Seven, seven, seven days, days a week. We yeah. got I ain't you. scared to pop no link. I guarantee yeah. you that. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't wait till the end of the show. Like, pop the link. I'm going to pop the guy in the Yeah. So, hey, man, it's all good, man. So, hey, you can find me. Hey, just a lot of this podcast. Hey, thank you for tuning in. You can go ahead and find me at Locking Sports. That's lock underscore n underscore sports at Twitter and X or I mean I mean oh, Twitter yeah. X or Instagram. I don't, I don't know hmm. what what we call it. Twitter X is it still called Twitter? Damn, well, like it's gonna be it's gonna be oh, Twitter X until Paul called... noted for me. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, make sure you yeah. hey, subscribe, like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell. Go ahead and subscribe to all my panelists. I always subscribe to. What AFN, Georgia Sports Nation, run up our shows. I mean, like I said, man, at the end of the day, man, if anybody wants to join the show, man, I'm, I think I'm gonna do it next time. Anybody want to join the show, especially after this, after this win we about to get, and then I want to see everybody that was repping, repping him to come on and speak. If, like I said, if they come on, give us a fair shake. If they come on, we get them a fair shake. I don't have no problem having nobody on on. Throwing out the link, but you gotta yeah, be respectful, bro. But you gotta be. Respectful. That's what I'm saying. You gotta, gotta, be, you gotta be respectful, though. Like, 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 you like you don't don't try to use our platform for you. Uh, like we, I, I, like, I don't There's mind no giving everybody a voice, but you gotta be respectful. At the end of the day, man, that's what it is, man. We always producing that positive content. We hard on our people, but we love the squad. We love the brand, and we represent the logo. We bleed red and black always and forever. So, like and I we said, all man. got we all got different approaches. Let me say that one thing for you to hang it up, Law. Yeah, yeah. We all got different approaches to our content because I'm hard as fuck, and I will cuss you out. I'm not like my compadres. I'm not like my contemporaries. Here. I cuss your ass out if I feel like it. I'm a Chris. But most of the time, but most of the time, I'm professional. Uh, you stop lying, I, do, uh, I, I, I am professional. Charles, I, 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 you stop. I'm a Christian. I am. I'm a Christian under construction. But, and I'm gonna say that. But, I'm gonna say that to say this. I know. I, I know. I know. I know. My boy underscore. Guy, I call a lot underscore. I know underscore. Ready to turn this off. Let me tell y'all something, man. Hey, we can be respectful or disrespectful. Okay. If you think you're a gorilla, I got plenty of primate in me. So let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all don't want Maggie to get up in here and get disrespectful. Oh, it ain't cute. Listen, you know, listen, people right now they're like, I'm upset. They finna play the drinks on that. We just <laughs> got different approaches. Like my boy Locke, he more smooth laid back than most of us. This is the quiet storm over here. This over yeah, here. over here, Locke ain't gonna play that shit with you. He just gonna bounce you up out of here and out. He just gonna bounce you up out of here when you get disrespectful. But I, um, but your boy Black Bear, I match your energy. I match your energy. But we this we just talking football, y'all. That's all we. That's all it is. We talking football. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing personal against nobody. It's just football. Everybody got a different perspective that they looking at the game from. 
But the last thing I'm going to say is don't just watch the lives. If you didn't catch our previous lives, go back and watch them. Go back and watch our live from Sunday, our post-game reactions, and you'll see that we're not cheering mediocrity. We was cussing uh, their ass out, too. We're I mean, still I, cussing their ass out. I said bitch. I said bitch Ritter. I said we should have yeah. it. I said but see, that was we got initial reactions. You did sure show say that in the post game show. You sure did. Mm -hmm. You did. The people That's were saying right. that on the live game show. So go back and watch. Go back and watch the other the other shows. Don't just watch the live. We we react the same way you react. We just got a different perspective sometimes. No, what, 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 what we do? What, what we do? Hold on, hold on, hold on. One I'm other sorry. thing, man. Um, I'm wearing my pink for everybody that's representing breast cancer. I will. Breast cancer I will. Awareness. You know I will what I'm saying? So I want to give a shout out awareness. to everybody that's dealing with that. Yeah, it, it is breast cancer. Oh. But so, I, so I was just, I just want to make sure we go ahead and um, tip our hat to everybody that's dealing with that. I got a couple of people that's dealing with yep. that as well. Yep. So, mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let's close this out, man. Let's close okay. this out, man. Right. Um, good show, everybody. I appreciate everybody for showing up, man. Like I said, like, subscribe, and continue mm -hmm. to blast our shows, stream them, go back, listen to everything. Hey, and then we're gonna have more shows where we invite people up to go ahead and speak their piece. It's just it's really too hot right now. It's, it's the block is hot right now, but it's like the hot boys out there. So hey, at the end of the day, man, peace out, man. I appreciate everybody for showing up, man. Let's talk about it. We out here.